Hello, y'all. I'm wondering what mistake did I make? My camera looks kind of different ever since I tried to reset it, hoping I would get more space on my phone. Because um, I know that um, I had a, enough space on my phone, but just the perps being evil, I, um, they, you know, try to shut me up on my own phone trying to do videos. <clears throat> <clears throat> me trying to do videos um you know exposing the truth about things so they shut m the previous video they cut it off so now it's 11:30 exact <clears throat> and um yeah because my phone got a little the camera part got a little changed cuz i don't i mean before i reset it um, <clears throat> I was able to, um, do certain kinds of, uh, filters and every, everything. I'm wondering, what did I do wrong? <laughs> I shouldn't have reset the phone. Um, I didn't reset the whole phone, but I cleared out, um, I didn't even need to, but I thought if, if I cleared it out, you know, I thought the phone would be functioning again, but it's like, I, my storage space was not full, but the perps cut it off. They they cut my video off and fought, made a false sign that my video, I mean, that my storage space was full when my storage space was not full. But, you know, they did this to try to control me and try to shut me up. Then I was forced to use my data rather than the um other... um you know, the Wi-Fi to try to get the other videos uploaded because I was, tr right when I, I was trying to um get into detail and in talking about how abuse victims and abuse survivors are misunderstood and discredited and falsely accused of being crazy and it's made to look like as if um, our own, um, you know, victimization is our fault and that, you know, they make it like as if we're crazy on our own when it's not us being crazy, but the idea of, um, us just trying to deal with, um, our abuses and not having any closure and having really nobody to talk to, no real support. <clears throat> and, you know, I wish that they would say, say that mental health and counseling therapy and all that is a scam and a sham. I mean, I don't, not sham, but you know, a scam because, um, you know, they take all your money and then oppress you and you don't even get the proper help that you that you came there for and you leave out feeling worse than when you came in so i um it's like that's one thing when a person has been abused or molested or had something done to them and they're crying out for help. People will falsely accuse that person of being attention seeking and um you know more just being crazy and disturbed and then they try to say, Oh, you're just trying to get attention. And I really hate that. That peeves me that you falsely accuse an abused victim of trying to get a you know, being attention seeking. And so if you really trying to um, expose people who have abused you years later, Hollywood or no Hollywood, famous or not, when you try to start, you know, pointing fingers and outing your abusers, then 
you know, they try to discredit you and try to, when you're speaking out the truth, they try to falsely accuse you of clout chasing and just wanting fame or you just want fame and money or whatever, or you're just trying to get attention. And it's, not, it's far from the truth. And um, with the targeted individual world, the fake T.I. perps, you know, they try to say that um, with being with being targeted, that they they lie and say that most real victims are silent about their abuse, and that if you were a real victim, if you were a real targeted individual, you wouldn't be on YouTube or you wouldn't be on social media and stuff like that. So, I know their game. I know their manipulation. I know they want me to shut up. I know they're trying to silence me. And they're trying to control and manipulate and abuse me. And so, they don't like resistance. So, um... I mean, I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. <clears throat> you know, Raz B from B2K, you know, he's trying to get justice um, for his, you know, what, what he went through. And people are calling him attention. I mean, for years, been calling him attention, seeking and crazy. And then Omarion who I call him Illuminati Fag Marion, who sold out. And um, his initiation, his Illuminati initiation ritual video was Icebox. And so, you know, Omarion falsely accused Raz B of lying for attention and money. And, um... You know, I don't know why, and people are like, well, why would a person want to get famous off of something so humiliating and embarrassing? They were already famous. And those poor kids probably didn't even ask to be famous. So in, in my situation, me speaking out against my abusers, I'm getting the same treatment. Um, falsely accused of trying to get money or falsely accused of, um, you know, trying to get attention or I'm just lying over on everybody. Um, so, you know, I remember watching a documentary called Bellevue Inside and Out, and that's that famous, uh, Bellevue Mental Hospital is the state mental hospital, the prison psych ward in uh New York City, I think. And I feel trauma psychologically. I've never been there, but I've been, I'm psychologically and mentally traumatized every time I hear um, Bellevue, B-E-L-L-V-U-E, um, is in New York. And, you know, they've made, I mean, at the homeless, the mental health homeless shelter, they used to perp me really heavily there. And when they couldn't get the control out of me that they wanted, um, they would make threats to have me sent there to Bellevue. And then I'm glad that some people, you know, sometimes they succeeded, sometimes they didn't. Um, no, I think one time at that shelter, they succeeded at getting me locked up in a mental institution but most people um you know when they hauled me off to the mental institution against my will and then <clears throat> I, I mean i'm sorry they um yeah they did that too but they made attempts to um get me sent there and and then at the hospital they would tell me nothing is, literally nothing is wrong with you. And then they would send me back. 
to the shelter. But one time they pretty much succeeded and they had a whole, um, you know, set, they set me up and that's a different video. I think I may have talked about it before. No, probably did. I probably didn't, but that would be a different video to talk about. But you know, all the different times, you know, they've tried to get me sent there. And one time, you know, I ended up, I don't even remember the name of that hospital. I think St. Vincent Mental Hospital or something like that in Manhattan or somewhere in New York in 2006. And then I had the suicide attempt in 2007 and I ended up at Kings County Mental Hospital in Brooklyn. I nearly, I mean, I heard that, you know, you'll be lucky if you get out of, out of there alive because they kill people. The mental hospital in Denton, Texas, UBH, they kill people. So why would you, family or not, like, why would you wish this on somebody? Somebody who's speaking the truth about everything that's going on. And then, you know, it's, it shouldn't be the person being abused to be forced to see a psychiatrist and take medicine for the rest of their life. It should be the ones who are doing the abusing. If a person been a rape victim, like a 19-year-old a college student, and she was raped. They have her going seeing counseling and mental health rather than the sicko who did it. And he's just going, going about his life and probably victimizing more girls. But then people will say that if you don't speak out against whatever rape or abuse you've been through, if you stay quiet, then they say that you're part of the problem. So it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. You're part of the problem. If you don't speak out, but then they'll try to say, well, most vic who says most victims stay quiet? And, you know, it should be at our um, choice on whether or not we should, um, you know, stay quiet or speak out. And, you know, people have been calling me crazy for years. So it's like, you know, but I mean, I'm trying everything I can to avoid, you know, wicked people who try to set me up to get locked up in a mental institution against my will. The last attempt was uh, election day last year, um, a couple of months ago. So, and those were complete strangers who I didn't even know, but the moment I caught on to them, you know, them gang stalking me, I mean, they, they did that on purpose. Um, so, I mean, narcissistic abusers, they love to try to, you know, silence their victims by, you know, using mental, you know, so-called mental health, which is another name for mind control and abuse. You know, MK Ultra. when you start speaking out and breaking, trying to break free from the mind control, and then they, they, you know, they'll have you blacklist, try to discredit you and have you blacklisted as schizophrenic and crazy. And you're not schizophrenic and crazy. And it's like, I mean, I, I ought to, like, I don't even know if there's a such thing. Okay, can, can we target it? In like, if anyone's watching this, because I don't really have that many supportive TIs to even watch my channel on, on my channels with the nest. But any of you TI targeted individuals or TI supporters watching this video, can we have them? Can we targeted individuals join the me too movement as well? Can we, can we cult survivors, uh, mental health survivors or any form of abuse? Can we join the me too movement? So, you know, well, I don't want to join any movement, but like, let's, I mean, if they have the, you know, justice for targeted individuals or, you know, um, and you can insert your so-called handler's name as surviving whatever, like, if, um, if your handler's name is, uh, I don't know. Let me think of a name. 
I don't know, Richard Jackson. Okay, Richard Jackson, if you if you're somebody's handler, how about you know, I don't know anybody personally named Richard Jackson, but I just threw a random name out there. So okay, Richard Jackson, let let's do a, a surviving Richard Jackson series or something like that. Um, how about let's do a surviving Adrian Felder? But I ain't famous. But it's okay. But, you know, surviving Adrian Felder. The biological brother, Sean, should be doing uh, surviving Michael Mathis. Yes, the foster mom, Adrian Felder, her sister's name is Michael. But I think she got married again, and her name was M Michael Rashad or whatever. Her name is Michael, but they call her Mickey. So, um... <clears throat> So, I don't care who thinks I'm talking crazy, but, you know, and, and you hear the story a lot when people say that hurt people hurt people. If you're hurt, then you go and hurt others. And I'm glad, I'm saying it again, I'm glad that I broke that cycle. And I'm glad I did. I mean, because I couldn't get away with some hurting somebody and, and not getting in trouble. Like, for example, if R. Kelly had been abused and hurting, been abused and hurt, and none of his abusers are controlling, he grew up thinking it was normal, and, and none of his abusers or controllers got prosecuted or they didn't have to suffer any, uh, you know, trouble with the law. And then he started doing it to people. He got away with it so long. And then he, um, you know, he, now he's finally put in jail, but we all sitting there calling him sicko. And he was a victim too. Some people question whether or not Chris Stokes was a victim. And, so I, I mean, there's we don't we don't really know, we don't have any information on on whether or not he was a victim. But I know Marcus Houston was a victim, and um, but he turned into a predator. Um, so if any of you ha who have children, or any of you know of anyone who has children, if a child is acting out having like behavior problems in school question the, what what's going on in the I mean question yourself you know cuz you don't want to do the spy and snitch I mean spy and snitch kind of thing but you know if if you if, if the child is having behavior problems in school you know somebody should question whether or not that child has been abused been a victim of abuse, especially if the child is quote unquote always being a badass. You know, you gotta check in. I mean, you gotta, you know, question yourself whether or not that child, if if you're a continual badass for years, you know, if the child is a continual badass for years, on you know behavioral problems. You have to question what abuse or manipulation have been going on in the home, in that household. Because I didn't know until years later that Mark was considered, the biological gay brother Mark was considered, you know, an abuse victim too. The family didn't go into detail, but the biological family, they would rather shut everything up because they feel a lot of shame and guilt. And they don't want to be reminded of, um, you, you know, they don't want to spill everything out and, you know, air out the truth. And they're comfortable with living a lie. And, you know, they act like they're just trying to live their life. But I don't even know. I don't have any concrete proof of whether or not they signed any non-disclosure agreements or anything like that. But they want to keep everything quiet and... um and so, you know, if Mark supposedly had been abused by whatever foster parents in Milwaukee, and then, um, 
I heard my older sister, Belinda, who's now deceased, I heard that she was molested by a biological grandpa, Wallace May. I mean, I've heard that talk around the family, about the family, you know, but the family would talk about what they want with the abuse. <clears throat> but, you know, me and Sean are the most outspoken and, the, and we're called the crazy ones, even before we started, you know, speaking out against things, you know. <clears throat> They've been calling me and Sean the craziest family members. <clears throat> and, you know, if Sean, when Sean asked me for help, and then I try to um help him as best as I know how, and then he'll get mad and falsely accuse me of trying to be oppressive to him. And it's like David Jane. You know, David Jane is the fake friend in Los Angeles who turned into a perp. And David Jane will treat me like as if I'm the one who's oppressing him and out to hurt him when I've done so much for him. But the people who he, David Jane will have his guard up against me. But, and I've never tried to hurt David. But then David would. Um, trust and believe people who don't have his best interests at heart, the people who try to you know make a fool out of him and try and you know you know um trying to make a fool out of him for giggles, and you know you and they're the ones who will use and take advantage of him, and then people like David Jane and Sean they get the idea you know they try to use and take advantage of people because it happened to them for so long, so. Um, I mean, if I have a abuse situation and people get mad at me and they be like, well, why didn't you tell right away? But if I tell you right away, you blow me off. Like certain things go on in the home, in the foster home, and the foster mom blow me off. And then when we finally able to talk about it in the psychiatrist's office, Dr. Champa Chakraborty, Dr. Chakraborty's office, um, and the foster mom get mad and be like, now this is the first time I'm hearing this. I'm like, well, I've been trying to tell you. No, you didn't. No, you yes, I did. Well, okay, I'm not going to argue with you, Candy. So, I mean, it's not fair you know, I don't think there's a drug, I'm not on drugs, but you know, I don't think there's a drug addict, a homeless person, or a mental patient who has not been through abuse. I don't think anybody going to wake up one day and just start being a drug addict. They have some hurt going on and they end up feeling a void the wrong way rather than being filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. And um and and then, you know, not having Jesus in your life and you know everything being placed with the wrong God to serve or no God at all. You'll make a whole bunch of sins and errors to go on, you know. So y y don't let the fake T.I. perps lie to y'all and the regular perps lie to y'all and say that only true targeted individuals, only two, only true targeted individuals will stay silent and that a real T.I. wouldn't be outspoken and vocal. Now, the transgender Lisa T.I. supposedly got murdered uh, from being outspoken about his targeting and I don't know of any final updates. Um, so I mean, I don't, I don't know that he, and, and I mean, being outspoken. But you know what? They, 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 whether you're quiet or not, you're gonna have all the stuff happening to you, and they're gonna, they're gonna kill you anyway. That's why you're on this, this kill list. So you know, if they'll put you. People who, you know, have you, like, set you up to be hauled away in the mental hospital or jail, 
and then you die, and then it's a blood sacrifice, and your Masonic family members or lovers or whatever, that you didn't even realize they went into Freemasonry or the occult and witchcraft and, or voodoo or whatever. If you have a Masonic boyfriend and he kept that secret or hidden from you, or you didn't even know he was your handler, and there are some people who go down and die not even knowing the truth about or aren't able to, you know, have the, you know, if the person was a targeted individual or MK Ultra victim and and die not even knowing that this was what happened to them. And it's just really sad. So it's like, um, We have a right to speak out. We have a right to speak the truth. And all y'all people want to talk about, oh, let's put an end to this gang stalking program. But the, the so-called end and the so-called solution is usually new age solutions or witchcraft solutions. Or, they, you know, the idea of taking a deal, the cheap, shitty deal of becoming a prostitute and a perp or a drug runner and a perp or a pedophile and a perp and all that. And I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing any of it. I refuse to eat doo doo. I re I refuse to um masturbate in the coffin. I refuse to eat babies. I refuse to drink blood or you know urinate on. Yeah, I'm 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 talking about what they do, the kind of whatever that they do. Um. Just I'm not sacrificing any animals or humans. And you know. I heard about the, you know, the Instagram famous girls who, and they probably go around gang stalking and perping people too. The Instagram famous girls who, uh, um, they go to Dubai and celebrities too who are struggling go to Dubai and to get pooped on by rich, uh, the rich people, the rich people who live, the rich men who live there, they get paid to get pooped on. Hell, yeah, who wants that, you know? So... Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I have some courage to keep using my voice and keep fighting and keep speaking out against everything that's going on, um, uh, with myself and others and, you know, just this program as a whole and hopefully try what I can to, um, help win souls to Jesus Christ and fight harder against everything and, any kind of mind control, abuse, narcissistic abuse, or anything, and and you know me trying to trying to um get closer to God before it's too late. And I'm just thank God every day for you know spiritually waking up to the truth and still being alive to have another chance at salvation. It's very critical and serious. And you know, go ahead and give me your thumbs down. Go ahead. Because I know I've said nothing wrong in this video. Nothing wrong. I don't care about your thumbs down no more. You can call me crazy all you want. You can laugh all you want. But there's a special spot in hell for you who don't repent. It's your choice. Choose ye whom this day you will serve. I choose to not go with that lifestyle. I'm even trying to trying to, you know, wean myself off of certain bad foods and trying to better my diet and, you know, trying to read the Bible more often and pray more often. <sighs> Hopefully fasting cuz I'm still feeling traumatized, but I'm feeling a little bit better, you know. So, wow, I'm glad I'm at 29 minutes on this phone, on this video now. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, um, oh, my left eye is starting to kind of burn a little bit. Um, so we are not delusional. We are not lying. Stop trying to discredit us. Stop offering fake new age satanic solutions to quote unquote end the gang stalking program because it's not going to work. We need our souls saved, seriously, and go to heaven. So they're warning me now. So 
Thanks for listening. I love y'all. And I know that it will be tomorrow morning when y'all can see this video. So please take this video seriously. I love y'all and bye-bye.